all right guys what's going on it's your boy henry and welcome back for another market update um so let's just get right into it let's get into the technical analysis uh cpi was positive uh we did not expect it to be positive but it was all right um we have been talking about here on the channel for a few weeks now i think it's been two weeks uh that the monthly chart was suggesting that a bottom could be in and i i did say way back over here that i did think this was going to be a bottom i didn't think this was going to be the bottom uh but i said it could be a bottom so a minor low but i mean it turns out it is going to be a major low that is what it is looking like it is going to be because if inflation has an inflection point downward which it is showing to be uh last month it is should the data is suggesting that last month was that that month um then the fed doesn't have to be as tight all right and things can uh things could heat up in the market but i still think uh i still think indices should cool off before really going on any crazy run which is what i'm waiting for and i'm gonna make my case for why the vix still should be bouncing pretty pretty soon it should be bouncing pretty hard at least to have some a uh a move something similar to this or this um but yeah let's get right into it uh you got a hangman candlestick as your uh daily candle that formed for qq and spy and i'm sure it is the same on dia uh it is not the same on dia and iwm holy shit iwm looks bullish that looks like a bullish candle to me uh dia i wouldn't say so much it's a candle of indecision right there uh but yeah theoretical performance on the hangman candle is uh bearish reversal but the tested performance is the bullish continuation so we have that on qq and spy and then on the vix we have a big fat bearish engulfing candle that is something to note and if bitcoin were to close exactly where it is right now then we'd have a bullish engulfing candle here on uh bitcoin all right so in my opinion candles do rule and candles are suggesting that you continue higher on the indices tomorrow and lower on the vix tomorrow all right so now let's just cover the oscillators and cover everything on the daily chart and then we'll go over the uh weekly chart um and then what we think about cpi what does this show uh how is this important to us on the channel um because it is this is pretty damn important all right and um the charts might have failed me uh here with cpi all right it was not like i mean that's that's what sucks i mean like you got this really bullish news but you're still up here on the the indices and i'm not gonna buy calls up here there's there's not a chance in hell i'm playing calls while we're up here on the indices just up here in this uh this overbought zone up here like you play calls when it's down here look at this if you bought calls uh just when you were in the uh the oversold territory just down here right when you form peaks down here or uh yeah the little divots in your cci down here look you would have bought so low 374 you would have bought down here like this is where you buy puts all right um but i do think the trend is changing i think the data is suggesting that we are going to be uh going on a run that is what i am uh uh, that is that's honestly if i had to make a prediction that that would be it i think guys yeah we're gonna go on a run um but i just i i don't think it makes sense for that run to really start here maybe we continue higher maybe we bump our head up here uh on this uh 430 level on spy uh but at the same time like just look at oscillators you have to come down so i do think there is going to be something bearish that comes out uh that takes you down and like i don't think it's going to be anything crazy i think it's going to be something similar to this move right here how we came down look at that so that's an 18 dollars move yeah i think it's going to be something similar to that and you're going to come down to like 400 on spy uh but something has to bring these oscillators back down here or you're not going to be going much higher and i did say when we first came over here i told you guys like we could very well uh, have a situation where we just stay over here in the overbought territory that has happened uh look at what happened here once you got here you just stayed up here and that's what that's what my warning was down here 
I was saying that the weekly chart was suggesting this this divergence on the weekly chart was suggesting that once we started going on the daily time frame, like maybe your oscillators could just stay up here and you could just have an absolute monster rip that's unexplained. All right, like I, I told you guys, this could be the biggest bull trap of uh, all time. And like, dude, yeah, I just still think it was. And like this like happened because of the June, I think it was, uh, what was it? June 17 expiration. Uh, that's why we're so bullish. I was like, guys, it doesn't make sense for everyone to flip bullish or to flip short from short because they were already short for months. Uh, what do you think caused this big sell off? It was like all the big guys going short. So it doesn't, it didn't make sense for like more like $3 trillion to go short because that would push it down more. But like, just look at, uh, like come over here to a week in time frame. Look, we were oversold. All right, this whole time we were oversold before this divergence. So it just made more sense to go up. Um, but yeah, all I think CPI is really telling us is that like, hey, next time on this dip, buy the dip. Like straight up, buy the dip. I think that's really what it's saying. I think like the money is about to pour into the market. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, it's an inflection point for inflation. So yeah, let's go over everything. But yeah, your, uh, your oscillators, they are crossing back up here on your, uh, your stochastic is crossing up. Uh, you are uh, hinged back up on your CCI, which uh, you were, you were hinged down yesterday. But as you see, you have a huge gap up here. Um, we are going to put these gaps on our, our chart. Um, let's just zoom in all the way to that. Right there, I think uh, that captures it right there. All right, QQQ. Let's, oh, I already have that one, but we can make it more accurate here. Um, there we go. All right, so you guys can put that on your chart. But yeah, uh, you have these we can take that out i don't know if we have it on qq I'll take that out take that out uh yeah i i mean i think this gap is gonna be filled sooner than later but at the same time i've been bearish this whole time and it's just because i'm not gonna go long i mean i refuse to go long so i'm just looking for shorting opportunities that says why do you think i've been bearish while we've been going up like i haven't been playing calls like this whole time right here why do you think that is? Because like the oscillators up are, are up here. The analysis, my analysis here on the channel suggests that we either move sideways or we go up. And there's gotta be actually an options, options strategy that benefits from sideways action and that. So I gotta look into that um, just because I probably would have played that. Um, but yeah, why do you think I didn't play calls but I knew we were going to either be moving sideways or moving up? Because hey, your oscillators are here. It's unsafe to do so. I mean, it just to me, it doesn't make sense. I'd rather, just catch these moves for what they are. Um, but yeah, guys. Okay, uh, let's go on to. Oh, I accidentally deleted a spy. Just realized. Let's go on to Bitcoin, and then we can do VIX, and then the weekly analysis, and then we can get out of here. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything's really the same as the other thing. Your uh, stochastic are uh, curling up here your cci is hinged up our size hinged up on bitcoin now on vix your cci is hinged down and you are curling down on your stochastics uh yeah honestly your uh your oscillators on vix they've been just i mean the same way the qqq and spy oscillators they've just been toying with us for like been weeks and weeks they've been just toying with us but it's okay it's quite all right it's quite all right um but yeah okay everything's suggesting like okay like this moves here all right like there's probably going to be continuation down on vix just like there's continuation uh up on the indices but like how far is it like it's not going to be a meaningful move you have to cool off you gotta you gotta move to the upside on the vix just like you gotta move to the downside on the indices before you can continue all right and i mean that that's that's all that's really here i mean nothing's really changing all right a move down has to happen before i'm gonna before i go like long uh, i'm gonna need a break all right i am not i'm not getting suckered at the top if we're gonna have a drop i'm catching the drop 
all right uh there has to be one at some point there has to be a drop um and i'm gonna be here to catch it so yeah let's go on to the week of time frames okay um holy shit that looks so bullish all right uh yeah i mean guys things just look bullish all right like i i really can't deny i cannot deny how bullish things look and um dude they just do you got like i you can't call that that a hangman like if it if it closes up at highs then you're gonna have a hammer candle on the qq weekly um which for me like that sucks because i'm not gonna be able to like establish these long positions um but i mean it's whatever and then you have your bullish engulfing candle on bitcoin uh vix i mean you've had these uh i think it's called the three black crows like what is it three times like one two three there's one that predicted further downside one two three so one more bearish week on the on the vix and you're gonna have a uh bearish continuation pattern on your hands so i mean that's gonna suck that that would be if you had one more bad week so this week if it closed like like it is now and then you had another week with a bearish continuation and, and that closed right here you would have the third three black crows pattern form in a row which would be pretty cool but yeah i mean on the weekly chart look at the vix i mean uh it wants to go all right it wants to go it looked last week it looked like it was going to go but i mean as you see this week like look what happens on the indices you have your hammer candle forming uh i mean that's not good for mr vix over here uh but yeah i mean it wants to go it's only a matter of time in my opinion until it goes and yeah but yeah bitcoin's looking bullish in my opinion bitcoin is looking bullish but i still think bitcoin's gonna come down i don't think it makes sense that it I, like i my bias is still the same it just doesn't it doesn't make sense that things run and i'm not gonna be the sucker all right i'd rather preserve what i have like i'm like i mean who really cares if we miss out who cares we like if you want to like be baldy take a thousand dollars and go scalp something all right scalp like calls or something if you know like oh it's probably gonna go off tomorrow but like yeah just so you just satisfy your fomo go uh scalp calls all right so why not um but yeah i mean everything to me it really i mean i'm getting mixed signals all right i'm getting very mixed signals the the effort the economy it looks so bullish to me all right i said that like way back over here on you if we go over to us oil um and we come up here like I, I i told you guys up here this could be the top of like inflation all right because if this is the top of crude oil then you know i mean this could be an indicator of like hey we're close to the top of inflation and at the same time the indicators here they were looking solid like really solid like what day was that june 17 and then we go over to us oil uh how close to the top was that pretty damn close guys pretty damn close all right like this is why i flip bullish it really is it really is and this is why i've been saying all right even before we got the cpi report this is why i've been saying yes i'm looking for downside but i'm not looking for a big move down i'm not looking for this i'm looking for like a quick move like that and then a move upward or maybe maybe it's even a quick move like that just something enough to bring these oscillators all the way back down here all right that's what i'm waiting for all right because we've been riding high just like we were up here you just your oscillators got up here you just kept going up all right that's what happened here your oscillators got over here you just kept going up all right what are the times i mean there was this but you went sideways like, yeah i guess like the only time like currently is comparable to what happened right here where your oscillators just stayed up here in the oversold region uh but you just kept going up uh what happened over here yeah or something like this and then you sold off pretty sharply but yeah i mean i'm not looking for a big move down i'm just looking for something to move these guys back down and i'm looking for something to uh like vix like do something like this like it's got to happen at some point and i'm gonna catch it and then i'm gonna flip bullish i mean i already i already have flip bullish 
I'm just waiting for an entry. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, honestly, the daily candlesticks and uh, oscillators are suggesting a bullish continuation tomorrow. But who knows? I mean, someone's going to be the sucker. Someone's going to buy on the last day. And uh, yeah, then we're going to be falling. And then, I mean, one, yeah, again, once you have these move down here, then I'm, I'm expecting move up because, uh, I mean, look at it. Look at it. Look at this monthly chart. All right, come over to QQ. You got this bullish engulfing candle here. All right. Like this thing's ready to make a move up. All right. So, yeah, guys, I'm bullish. You heard it here. Yeah, honestly, you probably heard, did hear it here first. I was so bullish down here and no one else was bullish. All right, but I was. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.